Hey guys, it's Mark. We're here with actually Mark from Intel. <laughs> Welcome. Thanks for coming by. And we're we're playing uh, Super Street Fighter 4 on the uh, PC here. This is being run on Intel's new chip, the Ivy Bridge, which is due out this quarter. And uh, it's in this little guy right here. It's actually, if you look at this, it's uh, basically it's it's, it's it's a joke. This is a full PC case, and it's actually in that micro PC case with no graphics card. This game is being run solely on this Ivy Bridge chip. So. What do you guys see? It's uh, it's how how well it handles the graphics. Yeah. He he tricked me when I first played him. You know, he showed me that <laughs> it's a dirty trick. It's a, it is a dirty trick. It, it runs the game flawlessly and it looks amazing on just the just the processor itself. All right, we have a classic match here: Ken versus Ryu. Let's see who's Shoryuken and Hajduken stronger. Or Ken versus Ken versus Akuma. Sorry about that. Why you wasn't available today? Yeah, no. <laughs> Ken's whooping my ass, man. To come back. I, I don't know which part you're for. <laughs> <laughs> Go, Mark. Oh, damn it. All right, good game, good game. Better, Mark. Nice, Mark. Uh, well, tell us a little bit more about the chip, Mark. Now that we're now that everyone's seen how how capable it is. Um, we know the Sandy Bridge was the second generation of the i7, right? Correct. So now with the Ivy Bridge, Ivy Bridge being the third generation, uh, besides the, the amazing graphics potential, what else uh, what else is it going to do for us? So what you have here is, um, as you mentioned, the third gen Intel Core processor. And at PAX, this is the first time the public gets to play around with it and really see all the great features. So what you've seen here is Intel integrated graphics, um, art of work, playing games. So you're able to play a lot of these really fun games and actually get a really nice arcade experience off of it. And uh, something that wasn't possible just a couple generations ago. So in addition to gaming, you also get a lot of other features. Um, you have the new um, microarchitecture, which is the okay. uh, 22 nanometer, um, sorry, the 22 nanometer um, technology that right. we have. And you're also able to, um, to do a lot of other content creation in, in addition to gaming. You mentioned uh, for video editing, it's got some it's got some new features. Exactly. So, uh, quick sync video that was available in the second gen core, but well, it's uh, bumped up for the third gen core. And uh, with quick sync video, you're able to transcode your video at a fraction of real time. So if you're if you're doing video editing, no longer are you waiting for the video, but the video is waiting for you. So, oh. so you're able to do a lot more uh, than you were able to do. Before. So right now I'm on my, on my first gen i7. I'm I'm at about just maybe a little bit under minute for minute. So I'm going to be way below that, Correct. respectively. Exactly. All exactly. right, I like that. And anyone else that has videos out there will respect that too. That's really right. appreciate that. So, so. so Ivy you, Bridge, guys. Ivy, yeah, third generation coming, core. Coming out this quarter. Uh, get out there and buy them. I'm, I'm just, I'm just, what, what's the price tag between three and five hundred for for a chip? Um, it's you know. Um, I know there's different yeah. levels. <laughs> so based on historicals, you can probably kind of guess what the prices might be. Uh, okay. They're not exactly set right yet, but yeah. that might be able to give you an idea. Of what all right, cool. Well, thank you, Mark. Appreciate your time. Bye. And uh, yeah, guys, Ivy Bridge coming out. Get it.